Hello and welcome to Polish Teach English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. As nutritionists say, you should have breakfast as a king, lunch as a prince and dinner as a beggar. This is how it works for me. In the morning I eat like a queen. If I want, I will eat. If I do not want, I will not eat. Lunch is like a princess's. I eat this, I don't eat that. But dinner is like a beggar's. I eat everything. So there is only one hope left for my today's needlework. Let's take a plate. A big one, of course. And we will prepare colored rags. Take a piece of sturdy denim as a base. The main load will go on to it. Just outline and cut out the path. And we will cut out the same details from light green fabric. Now let's move on to free drawing. Draw the outline of the plate on a piece of paper. And now we will fill it with tasty things. The simplest is scrambled eggs from two eggs and two sausages. Of course, you can draw anything you want. But then how to bring it to life? We will stitch the whole picture at an angle of 45 degrees with parallel lines. At the same time, when laying out fabrics, it is necessary to take the direction of the shared thread into account. All the details will be cut out of the fabric, taking the shape into account. You can separately redraw each detail, indicate the direction of the shear, and only then cut it out of the fabric. But I already have trained the eye. In the red patch, we determine the direction of the low bar thread. How to do it? It's a piece of cake. Pull the piece in different directions. The fabric does not stretch along the shared thread. We put this piece on our drawing so that it coincides with the direction of the shared thread. We outline and cut along the contour. I made three of these identical parts. Using the same principle, we prepare details from all other fabrics – white, yellow and pink. Count the number of the details. It all depends on the fabrics you will be working with. For such work, it's better to take fabrics with a simple plain weave. Moreover, it is not necessary that they are all the same. I have different white patches – cotton and satin. At the same time, I recommend laying a denser fabric on the very bottom and a light and loose fabric on top. Red and yellow details. Also consider the shared thread. You're free to build the composition in the way you need it. And now we need to hook all the details with needles. There are a lot of fabric layers. Let's do the math. First layer of jeans, four layers of mint fabric, four layers of white, two layers of yellow. There were three layers of red fabric, uh, pink and uh, a thin strip in one layer. Remember to align them by the shared thread. On top of the workpiece, you can mark the stitch line with a water-soluble marker. It's not necessary to draw the entire canvas, one line is enough. To do this, you can use a square or a ruler. My homemade ruler has markings at a 45 degree angle. We unfold the ruler so that the lower edge of the part lies on this line. And along the ruler, we outline the seam line. For the convenience of working with a sewing machine, 
I will use the special parallel seam food. I'll also grab my homemade side table. All this is necessary so that the canvas lies flat, the edges do not hang down. We sew carefully without rushing. Remember that we just have a huge number of layers of fabric. We have the length of the stitches small so that the stitch is tight. When sewing with the parallel seam foot, use the marks. It's very convenient. Make sure that fabrics and all small parts do not move during the work. If necessary, they can be corrected with a needle or a reaper. One more tip. Please know that later we will cut the fabrics between the seams, so small details along the edges must also be stitched so that they are not lost. The distance between the seams is 1.5 cm. So we sew the entire workpiece. After quilting, turn the workpiece over to the wrong side and trim the edges. And now it only remains to process them with an oblique inlay. To do this, we bend the end of the inlay, lay it face to face to our part and sew it on the sewing machine at a distance of 5 mm. Lay the binding loosely, without tension. After that, bend the binding to the seamy side. Make a hem. We will lay the seam on the front side, so that it goes very close to the edge of the folded inlay, and then hides behind the following fabric. It is best to first sew by hand with a needle and thread and then sew a line on the machine. For further work, arm yourself with a very sharp reaper or scissors. Our task is to cut all layers of fabric except for the denim of the base. We act carefully so as not to cut through the axis. I think now you understand why we put dense fabric at the very bottom. You will feel it when you cut it. Take your time to capture all the layers at once. Act gradually. Once a video was released on YouTube with the title Why is there a red ball at the end of a reaper? That video got a lot of views, but the author could not clearly explain why. But I'll tell you. When you cut the fabric, first make a hole and a small incision with the long end, and then turn the reaper around so that the red ball is at the bottom to work safely. This ball will prevent you from piercing and cutting through the lower fabrics. After that, all the layers are cut. Our workpiece needs to be torn apart a little. Here, it is enough to just knead it with your hands. We have a lot of small parts, and if we put too much pressure, they can just fall apart. So be careful. I have already worked with this Chanel technique before, but I sewed rugs, large, solid products. And with such a charming napkin, your every morning will be joyful and warm. It can be used as an oven mitt, as a lunch mat, or a coaster for a cup or you can simply hang it on the wall as a decoration. Well, a hearty breakfast is the key to good working day. Bon appétit everyone! I hope you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique for your family. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like and comment this video. See you in the next episode!